Boom. So for B major, um, notice that the black keys are all in, and the thumb is always in the white key, and the two, three, four are always in the black key. So your hand is already in the right position. All you need to do is that when you go from the thumb to the black to the black keys to the two and three, that your weight shifts slightly from here to here, so that there's an equal amount of distance from the weight of your arm to the finger. So here's the thumb. My whole arm is going to go in, and now it's basically going to go over to three. So boom, I'm going to point to where the wrist is, and boom, boom. It went from here to here. Same thing will apply from E. Thumb is on E, goes in. So it went from here to here. You can kind of compare it to where this line is right here. Boom to boom. If I wanted to make that a more organic motion, I would feel that from thumb to three is basically a one to two o'clock motion going in diagonally. And the one to four sort of begins at two o'clock, but then it kind of rounds over. There's also an element of closing the hand from the palm, so the fingers are indeed active. So it's not like I'm just paint brushing with my fingers. The fingers are moving. I'm just positioning the fingers so that they're in the best possible place to do what they do. Last but not least, the crossover. We want to avoid feeling like the thumb crossover is entirely with the thumb. The thumb can really only go to here before it starts to feel stretched. So if you rotate to the three and then you keep rotating outwardly, you could hypothetically rotate all the way back to the thumb without having to do any cross under at all. Now some cross under is advisable. So we're going to combine the two. My thumb is now basically somewhere between two and three. And then it goes under. 